You might already know the tool from Microsoft, Sticky Notes. It's integrated in every Windows computer and Microsoft just made amazing updates to it that actually makes it more valuable than ever. Just think about a paper sticky note, but digitally and integrated throughout all of your devices. All right, so let's open the app here. So I am going to go in my Windows Explorer here and type in sticky notes. It says that it is in preview mode, so you might not have this on your computer yet, but it is going to come very soon, I swear. So we click on this, and here we are, we have a pane that opens to the right here, and the first thing we're going to do is actually pin the app to your taskbar down below. I'm going to right click here, and just hit pin to taskbar. I'm going to close the app once again, just to show you that now the sticky notes is on your desktop bar. So it's going to stay there forever. <laughs> As a side note, if you ever lose your sticky note or you don't want to pin it to your taskbar, you can use the keyboard shortcut Windows Alt S on your keyboard. And you're going to have this pane that is going to pop at the right of your screen. Also note that at the top here, you have an option if you click on the three dots to dock the sticky notes to your desktop. This way you will always have your notes in whichever app you go. Let me open Google Chrome here real quick. And boom, set it as full screen. And as you can see, my sticky notes are there, forever there. But it's sometimes annoying, but you'll get used to it, I swear. But at the beginning, especially if you're using a laptop, you're gonna feel that it takes a lot of your screen. In my case, as you can tell, I have many, many sticky notes already. Let's take this one here and pop it out. If I click on pop out the note, poop, it just becomes a big sticky note on my screen, just like a paper sticky note. And then I have multiple options. Just as a side note, you can use your normal Windows keyboard shortcut. By instance, if I want to put this in bold, I select it and I press on Control B on the keyboard. And if I want to put it underline, Control U and then Control I. There you go. I have the normal keyboard shortcut in there. And then I have the other option to actually use a bullet point. Hello, this is David. Please like this video you see what i did there and then you also have the option to color code your sticky note you just click here at the top on more options and then you're going to be able to select the color that you want personally i prefer to put them in different color green when something is done yellow when there is an action item red or pink if it's important by instance and then you just click here and you select your color and at the end of the day, you can pop out multiple sticky notes and it looks something like that. And it is super beautiful. And then you also have the ability to actually pin a sticky note to your screen. What I do when I did a webinar, and this is a brand new feature, I pinned this one to my screen. So I have two screens here. And when I do a webinar, I have my camera right here. And I actually put this and then when I switch apps, let's say I switch apps like that, you see like the sticky note is sticking on top of everything else. If I unpin that and then I click back on my Google Chrome, you see that the sticky note is actually gone. I'm going to pop it again and then pin it. So that's really, really useful when you do a presentation and you have a second screen, you can just pin the sticky note there and you have all of your notes, all of the links to drop in your Zoom presentation or on the webinar that you're hosting, right? All right, so let me unpin this real quick. And here we go. And now I have two options at the top here. I have the plus one that actually just take a new note. And then what I see here is that I have a source, see? And the source here is actually my new tab. But if I click, let's say on this YouTube video here, which is called Get Started with Microsoft Copilot, which is actually a webinar that I did last week. And I click on the plus note once again. Here you go, you see that the source is Get Started with Microsoft Copilot free live training. And then I'm just going to type random stuff here very good video then if i just click here on the source here it is going to open the link to the actual video where i took the note that is pretty amazing 
And something that is really nice that Microsoft just added as well is the ability to take a screenshot. So we have the plus button here that we just clicked and the screenshot button here as well. And if I click here on screenshot, boom, you see how it popped a new note and all of my notes from this video are collapsed here under the source here. And what is really cool with the source, once again, if I click, it's going to bring me where it was. But look at this. I'm going to go into PowerPoint and this is the actual PowerPoint that was used to make the video. And I'm going to take another screenshot. Boom. It popped this note here from the PowerPoint and I have the source, of course. And look at this. What's the note at the top right now? This is the PowerPoint note. And if I go back to the website where I took the screenshot from the website, from the YouTube video, look which note is at the top. Okay. So it is intelligent and there is a right to the top feature. I'll go back to the PowerPoint. Boom. The note goes back up. I'll go back to the webinar and boom, the note goes back up. I took this screenshot here, the Zebra BI presentation here, the, the fourth note here. And if I open this PowerPoint, guess which note is going to come at the top? Here you go.